Diddy is a really interesting character in terms of he has a lot of intri intricacies. He has a lot of tricks up his sleeve and he has a lot of ways to play. Diddy has great frame data along with great whiff punishing with banana. So he's very bait and punish. He has very tricky movement. One of the best things about Diddy is he's a great brawler along with having such a big threat range with his banana. Doing things like Z drop aerials is really good because you you're never too obvious with when you're going to use banana. You can still fight with it with the still fight with banana in your hand if you are proficient at Z drop aerials. Along with he has a command grab, so your opponent can't just shield if they see you have banana in hand. So there's so many ways to open your opponent up, and you can do it very safely from basically any range. And this even crazier thing about monkey flip is you can transition it to an attack that's relatively safe as well. And by relatively safe, it's really safe. Along with having a lot of tricky movement options with pop gun cancels, monkey flip itself has uh, multiple distances and you can change it into an attack at any point. Um, not any point, but a decent amount of the move. Diddy also has a lot of play styles in terms of you can take it simple and you just have your throw follow-ups, you have banana follow-ups. If you're playing like from like a max distance, then you can just play very safe but still get decent damage along with um, having great ledge trapping after the fact. He has a lot of traps with his uh, pop gun and banana along with great two framing with F tilt, which you don't even have to angle at the ledge, which is very consistent. The move is very active and very consistent. And you also can knock people off the ledge if they hang on the ledge too long with down tilt, which can lead to combos or kills. Diddy never leaves your opponent many options. They have to be ready for so much because there's never one solid answer to what he's doing. There's so many mix-ups. And he also has very devastating combos when you optimize them. If you are at like playing at a range that isn't like super far away. So since his out of shield is really good, there's a lot of things you can do as well. There's the basics. He has great grab combos that work for pretty much every percent that isn't kill percent. Um, he always has some sort of grab follow up. And his back throw is also great because um, his ledge trapping is so good. And it, uh, it's also pretty high damaging for a throw. For his out of shield, there's the basics like grab. He has a frame five up smash, which is insanely fast. And it also scoops from pretty far, if you can see here. And it also scoops from behind um, on like frame eight. Um, it's not connecting here, but it will, it will connect in a lot of scenarios. And he also has some tricky out of shield stuff like um, Z drop banana out of shield which is around frame four or five, uh, depending on when the banana actually connects, which can lead to, you know, the basic combos like grabs or even like things like a, like barrels, a down air. That's the thing about Diddy, like he has punishes that are very consistent and there's also potential that they're very devastating. So there's so many things you can choose and there's still so much great damage you can get out of it. And along with his ledge trapping with all the traps, he also has great, um, some great edge guarding that's um not even too committal he doesn't have to go too far off stage a lot of the time there's some tricky stuff like uh monkey flip kicking into the ledge because it's so active it's basically just like a free two frame and sometimes it'll even be unteckable at the high percent and then there's the crazy stuff um that you've probably seen me do a lot z drop banana is very good at the ledge against pretty much every character if they're recovering to the ledge because banana is transcendent which means it's not going to get hit by something and disappear like it would in other Smash games. No matter what they're doing, it'll hit them. And it combos into his his down air, which is one of the strongest spikes in the game. If you time this right, or if you get a good read on your opponent off stage, it's an extremely early kill, especially for Diddy Kong's archetype, which is usually not killing at like ridiculously early percents. Um, he does combo hard, but he's usually killing at the higher percents. Not to say he struggles at getting kills, it's just a little unusual that he can kill you at like 20 sometimes. So in terms of his movement tricks, there's the pop gun cancels, there's wave bounce side Bs. The movement is pretty important because he actually doesn't have the greatest aerial mobility. So if he's in disadvantage, it, it can get a little tough. But monkey flip is the saving grace here because of the mix, -up, the mix ups afterwards, along with some characters just don't have the speed to catch him if he ha escapes with monkey flip. So you have pop gun cancels afterwards. Pop gun can be canceled into shield. Along with the cancels you can do, which are quite hard, 
You can also play it safe and kind of land on the ground with it and then shield. He also has beer reverse banana pull or and wave bounce banana pull, which is a little harder, but basically monkey flip has mix ups in itself along with a lot of mix ups afterwards as well. So his disadvantage isn't as bad as you'd expect if you catch your opponent off guard and pay attention and keep mixing it up. In terms of other disadvantage stuff, I'd like to talk about getting off the ledge with Diddy. There's some cool tricks he has. Right here, there's a wall. There's a couple legal stages with walls like Kalos and Yoshi's story. He has a wall cling. So you have a lot of mix ups here because you can wall cling twice. And if you save your resources, there's a lot of tricks you can do because he has such a quick back air. You can throw out a couple back airs to aggressively get on stage. You can monkey flip after wall clinging. So you can kind of wait your opponent out and see what they're going for and hang on the ledge. Also, it's really good to do this while holding onto a banana because you can force them to deal with it when getting back on the ledge. You can also do this without having the wall cling. So there's also when you're recovering, you can pull a banana onto the stage to make your opponent deal with that and then get off the ledge based on how they are respond to you pulling a banana onto the stage. And sometimes you can do tricky barrels and just go straight past the ledge and go right past your opponent. You just have to be careful that they're not throwing out preemptive hitboxes. There's also, if you have banana in your hand while you're getting hit, you can also Z-drop it as soon as possible and kind of use it to cover your landing. You can also like air dodge like with it as you're like dropping it and like you kind of have a hitbox while air dodging. So he has some tricks up his sleeve and disadvantage for sure. The, his recovery going horizontal is also crazy. Yeah, let's talk about his recovery. So technically it's exploitable because if he gets hit out of his barrels, um, he's pretty dead in a lot of the scenarios. But if you keep your double jump, there's a lot of mix-ups this character can have. If you watch your opponent, sometimes monkey flipping right past them is really good or like right above them because some characters don't have the hitboxes or the speed to cover everything, if you know what I'm saying. So if you watch your opponent and see, oh, they're like going to, they want to hit me out of my barrels, let me monkey flip. Um, you can also start your barrel charge pretty far off stage while keeping your double jump. So if you do get hit out of it, you still have a chance because like someone in chat said his horizontal recovery is so good uncharged it still goes very very far and if it is charged it's pretty ridiculous so yeah his recovery is solid if you pay attention and save as many resources as you can and there's even there's so many weird tricks that you would you'll kind of get comfortable with when you play the character more like if there's a wall jump accessible um, you can monkey flip kick into the stage and keep your 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 double jump and like air dodge and like still grab the ledge and whatnot so you can have like a meaty hitbox along with still being able to recover relatively safely what else there's a lot of tricks with banana too banana has a lot of weird tricks like um i recommend looking up this info yourself but there's a lot of tricks you can do to shield poke with banana like um it's all character specific but sometimes if you throw a banana like straight down at their shield and whatnot, you can force trips or if they're like above you on the platform, um, there's a lot of shield poking you can do with the banana. So I, I definitely recommend throwing a uh, banana in different ways rather than straight at them. Pivoting and like throwing it down or like short hopping and throwing it down or throwing it up right at them. Because on certain opponents, throwing it up there would actually just straight up hit a lot of characters, especially if they're shielding. So there's a lot of tricks you can do because if I throw it up here and then instantly go into a grab, it's pretty fast and would be hard to react to. So there's so many mix ups with banana along with like uh, the Z drop cancels you have. So I like to poke at people's shield with aerials and like air to air them if they're trying, if they're scared of getting hit on by banana on the ground. Sometimes you can condition your opponent really well and they'll like jump at you when you have banana in your hand and you can straight up throw the banana at them as an air to air and get follow ups off of it kind of as conditioning and set telling your opponent that you can't just jump. That he can just straight up anti-air you with banana because like I said, it's transcendent. They can't even hit it with a hitbox. Their best bet is to try to catch it. I would say Diddy's like most consistent kill confirms are banana toss into smash stack, of course. So holding on to banana is really good and waiting for your moment to get a kill off it is really great. Cause staying patient with it and like holding on to it, monkey flipping with banana in hand and really waiting for your opportunity is really nice because the longer you hold on to it in a lot of matchups the the more options you'll end up seeing 
Then there's also down tilt. So down tilt's a relatively safe poke and it's really great at low percents for combos. And it also turns into a kill per a kill confirm at high percents. So I'm sure you've probably seen me down tilt up smash a lot. It's also relatively safe on shield, especially if you like buffer or spot dodge and you think they're gonna grab. It's relatively safe. And there's the back air I'm talking about. Uh, and there's also some really crazy down tilt chains before they go into tumble. So if you see here, he's not going into tumble yet. And sometimes you can chain your opponent across the stage with the down tilts. There's probably a percentage chart somewhere that you can look up if you're really interested, which is crazy because then you can react to your opponent actually going into tumble, like right there, and get your kill confirmed. And sometimes with rage, um, you can down tilt up smash before your opponent even goes into this tumble state and they'll just die if they're like a light opponent. Down tilt is really consistent. And the craziest part, like let's say you have banana in your hand, your opponent's at high percent, so they're scared of the banana toss. Monkey flip is actually a kill move at the ledge. I would say even at this percent on some stages, this would actually k KO villager here. So they have so much to worry about at high percent. Along with monkey flip also changing into monkey flip kick, which can also KO as well. So let's talk about more interesting kill confirms and like more things that aren't as common, but are definitely possible. There's Z drop Nair into Z drop the banana into down down air kill confirm. So as you see that I I Nared and recaught my banana after the Z drop and then I Z drop the the banana on him again and down aired. So this is a ridiculous setup you can get. So naturally your opponent's going to be very scared in the corner because of your ledge trapping, your corner pressure, monkey flip grab, uh, banana toss. And sometimes you'll catch them slipping and you'll get them with that. There's also some other interesting out of shield stuff. Sometimes if they do something uh, unsafe uh, on your shield, you can do barrels, which is ridiculously high damage. So it's not bad to go for. Obviously it's risky if it doesn't work because you're using your up B on the stage and you're putting yourself in free fall. But it naturally would be so faster than something than like a grab. A grab would be safer to go for. But let's talk about optimal combos as well. For grabs, um, there's some interesting stuff. Up throw and down throw are naturally his best combo throws. Down throw actually does a little more damage than up throw. So that's a good start. Along with down throw usually having the more optimal follow ups because you can get a landing aerial to, you know, get another jump to continue combos. As with up throw, you're usually committing to whatever you do you can't land on the stage and continue a combo so down throw already doing more damage than up throw itself makes down throw a lot easier of a choice but there's stuff like this which is pretty crazy um for diddy's archetype because he already has so many combos he's already so safe he has such a big threat range but his, his throw game is also really great so i definitely recommend messing with down throw follow-ups because with some DI, it gets a little harder. Like sometimes they'll be more in front of you and you'll have to do something like that. So definitely um, get used to the DI and messing with up throw, uh, down throw combos. So yeah, Diddy's throws are great. And then there's basic stuff like back throw is pretty high damaging along with just putting them straight on the ledge because it has great knockback. He also has some throw combos at a forward throw. So if you're playing an opponent where you just want to rush them off stage and potentially edge guard them with like basic aerials, this is an interesting go-to because you're just pushing them off the stage. This is a combo you guys have probably seen before. You've probably seen that. It's very high damaging. Let me try it again for you. So it, 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 it does about 70%. So that's crazy. A point blank banana toss is very valuable because you get so much damage. There's the max damage. Let's talk about banana too. So banana has two uses. Um, so I just pulled a banana. So right now, if I throw it at them, it'll still be there. So the reason why this combo is so good is because I'm catching it with the down air after the first use. And then I use it again, down air again, and then I do barrels. And there's also different ways to pull the banana. This is the light one. That's the heavy one. Um, 
In terms of if you want the banana, I would recommend pressing B lightly so you don't pull it too far away from you. And also, Barrels does do six damage to himself. And if you care a lot about that, then there's still crazy combos you can do without damaging yourself. But doing six damage to yourself and then doing like so much damage to them is usually worth it. Then he also has a great dash attack, which is a, a great burst option. It's very fast and it's a very consistent combo tool. If you're not confident in a crazy damaging combo from a banana, like let's say you're at max range, dash attack is really great. When should you be leaving the banana on stage for stage control and when you should you be holding it to punish or is that more player match dependent? Um, leaving the banana on the stage is usually really good when they're like on the ledge. Like if I put it here, I'm naturally covering roll, right? So I can focus on covering other options. You can also do a similar thing, putting it right on the ledge and covering other get ups. Oh, another way to pick up banana. So you can just pick it up. He has a pretty generous pickup range along with down tilt being very consistent. You can also pick up with this down air auto cancel I was talking about, which is very nice. So let's say my banana is over here and I monkey flip kick. I picked it up with down air there. So monkey flip usually has lag, but um, I got rid of the monkey flip kick lag and picked up the banana there. So. Um, this could catch your opponent off guard. Knowing like a lot of the ways to pick up banana is really nice because your opponent might be trying to to hit you before you grab it um, and stuff like that and trying to control the pace of the match based on you not having the banana in your hand. Here's an, an example of me having tricky movement along with keeping banana in my hand. So B reverse cancels into Z drop aerials, changing my movement a lot. Uh, B reverse cancel, monkey flip, B reverse cancel, Z drop aerial, another Z drop aerial to have a combo. So much crazy stuff you can do. So you can really mix your whether or not you're going to throw your banana at your opponent. Because really, like Diddy really wants that. That's where he gets his, a lot of his kills, a lot of his high damage. So keeping it as tricky as possible is really nice. because. If you're just throwing your uh, banana point blank at your opponent, it's probably going to be a lot harder to actually land it. Diddy has a lot of different play styles, so he's usually pretty comfortable in most stages, at least for me. As for wall stages, some characters are very, very good on wall stages. Like Pikachu, for example, like uh, Pikachu can Thunder Jolt while they're recovering along the ledge and have a lot of insurance getting off the ledge with all the T-Jolts running up the wall. But Diddy has a lot of advantages on wall stages as well because he has a wall cling and he has lots of tricks up his sleeves on the, those stages. Along with it not really af affecting a lot of his edge guarding. Let's say, let's like, let's talk about Final Destination for example. Diddy Kong is really great on that stage because he controls so much of the stage just because of banana. I have my normal moves here, but I still have banana in hand. So my threat range isn't just like this forward air, for example, because this is one of my bigger moves. It also, I can also technically hit him from that far while also having access to so many moves, especially with Z-Drop uh, aerials. He also has a lot of crazy movement with platforms. So Monkey Flip can be ledge canceled right there. Uh, monkey Flip Kick, to be specific, uh, is very good to ledge cancel because <clears throat> you have a hitbox and you also cancel it immediately. You can cancel monkey flip either way, but I could just show you some movement you could do on platforms. So the cool thing about monkey flip kick is even if you don't get the, the, the ledge cancel, there's still so many tricks up your sleeve. So Diddy's very tricky and when you add platforms he can get even scarier. On platforms he has some great pressure as well. So shielding opponents can get monkey flip grabs still. Um, this is really great in combination with banana pull because let's say you pull a banana and they're shielding it and then they're scared of the banana being near them. Monkey flip is a great answer to that. Also he has some interesting combos out of banana pull when they're on the ledge. 
Like there's a, a basic thing, for example, you recatch the banana and throw it down at them and then continue your combo. You could also get kills off of pulling banana on the platform on your opponent. For example, like that could work. You could also get, you know, F smash, which is even stronger. Like right there, I used a banana to, to kill my opponent. I like to... So right now, my banana still has only one use. While my opponent's respawning, I like to pick, get a new one. So I have um, a fresh one. Just in case I get a crazy combo that requires two uses of the banana. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff potential for Diddy. Um, there's a lot of stuff you have to learn. He just has a lot of stuff, like more so than most characters. I think there's... You can argue he has more stuff up his sleeve than any character. Obviously, he has the freedom of playing a lot of different play styles. I think he's a great character. Um, and I think items are very good in Ultimate. Because just having so much control is so amazing. And a lot of opponents like to press a lot of buttons, um, spot dodge a lot. And if you're playing at a range where you are threatening a, a big combo while also not risking even getting hit. <laughs> um, I think that's really valuable. Like snake grenades are amazing. Rob's gyro is amazing. Diddy banana is amazing. Cause you can get kills off it from like safe ranges while also playing with your normal style. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything too valuable, but we can always talk more. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I stream every day, I play Diddy every day, um, and I'm always learning, so feel free to come and watch.